Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Rebel, Rebel. Scott, I have a question for you before I introduce everybody else. Okay, look. What do you do after you eat at McDonald's? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Those tacos, <laughs> tacos smell. <laughs> All right. Anyway, sorry about that. Oh. What's up, David Ashton? Cool. What's up, everybody? It's 6.24 in the morning in the UK. It's 1 o'clock in the United States of America, isn't it? It's well, 1.23 a.m. What? 1.23 a.m. Yeah, and you're at 12.23 a.m., right? Yeah. What's up, Connor? Hello. All right. So, yeah, you know what? I heard you upset somebody, David. So we have, we have to do some talking now, okay? Oh, intervention. You did some bad things. Listen, you don't do that, man. Listen, people could be the part of the Legion of Losers, scum of the earth, biggest low life trolls in history, yeah. okay? But you don't say what you say. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's bad. Oh dear. What did I say? What didn't you say? What did you say? So we have to make a public service announcement. The thoughts and opinions of David Aston is not the thoughts and opinions of the Real of, Indians cast. The Eric the show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's his yeah. own opinions that he believes, you know, that, that whatever he said to that person that, you know. <laughs> I apologize, not not. I, apologize him. Him. I apologize to the Mexicans. Please apologize. No, please apologize to him because I don't want him. That's not right, man. You really hurt him. Man. You hurt the troll that hurt us. Oh. And we can't have that. Oh. No. Dude, he blew oh. off my Twitter, man. He blew up my Twitter. So you, he, he, wanted a, he wants an apology. He wants us to come on. He wants. So you give him his apology that you're sorry that you hurt the troll that hurt us. I'm sorry I fucking fucked you. <laughs> Terrible. All right. Most sincerely. I'm sorry we have to early dirty laundry, but you know what? Then again, somebody made it a hundred and some odd accounts tonight and trolled the shit out of uh, my channel. So they, they did it sense. to me as well. It was ridiculous. It's it's not really necessary. And you know what, Jack? You need to stop too, bro. But whatever. We're not. You know, he, he's probably the one that's the most disgusting of all or whatever, too. But anyway, um, I do want to talk to you about some things going on in Hollywood. Um, and what the hell are we talking about Hollywood? I just forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. So, oh, see, you don't have those trolls blowing you up. They're not making... Is he appearing? It's Jesus Christ, our special guest. Oh, God. <laughs> don't say that. All right. Forget about what we're going to talk about. You can turn some water into that. Connor, them. You, you take it over, man. Save what? me. Uh, that's that's right. Shopping. We're going to free, freestyle it. Just take it over. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I don't really have any subject matter to talk about. So Did I'm you ever just... have a bad experience at McDonald's? No? <laughs> I had a lot of good experiences at McDonald's. I mean, I, you know, they have some good food. I well, I had a bad experience at McDonald's once. Yeah, I I, I was coming from the restroom. Ah, McDonald's. And I thought, okay, I I, I missed a belt button. Greater Manchester McDonald's. Ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, but nonetheless, I thought, okay, I missed a belt loop. I better find an article. Uh, yeah, it's a my belt buckle, my belt itself had broken, and I, I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have a fry manager to go to to, Jesus. to complain. The moral to the story is: do not troll Matrix Lord Two and Two, <laughs> then he will catch you. <laughs> All right. Um, I got my cock out in a McDonald's, if that counts. What happened? I got my cock out. Jesus! <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> That's disgusting. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about some horror stuff because what you said just scared me. So, um, Puppet Master, the latest Reich just came out tonight, which I didn't get to watch it because I'm doing these wonderful casts. 
Uh, I guess this is Puppet Master 12. Is it 12? I guess it's Puppet Master 12. Well, it's a reboot. Well, which fucking series, any fucking series, needs 12 fucking films? You see, th- this, is, this is my issue with Hollywood. And I'm, we're now getting on to the topic that I want to talk about. I've never <laughs> upset a northerner. Um, no film franchise in history justifies 12 fucking films. 12 <laughs> films. Like, it's overkill. I mean, come on. No, no one's going to be interested for 12 films. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm interested in 25 bonds. So what are you talking about? Well, uh, well. Uh, b- wow. B- wow. B- wow. B- shit, you got me there. Yeah, uh, no. B- All right, everything but Bond. Okay, continue. The amount, of, the amount of times they've we've made Halloween and um, um, what's it called? Um, Friday the 13th. It's extraordinary. They've done so many fucking remakes over the years. They've done remakes of remakes, reboots of reboots, you name it. Anyway, go on, Connor. I just don't see the point in any series having 12 films. It, it, it just does not. Well, I, this I, Halloween is 11. Or not. Well, I mean... Is this the 11th be, Halloween? This would be, but it's not because it's... Fucking hell. I, right? I, just, I, don't, I don't get it. I just, like, come up with original stuff. Not Freddy, vers, Freddy vs. Jason was technically the 11th one, right? A Friday thirteenth, or it didn't count as a Friday thirteenth, and then and then you had Friday thirteenth reboot, which that was kind of a whatever. I mean, you know I what? I just don't see why we can't be original. Not well, we don't have to be original, but why we just can't be a little bit creative anymore? What? Why is it always a reboot or like the eleventh fucking installment in a long running? Series that doesn't what? need to be a long one. How many Planet of the Apes do we should add a techno beat to Connor's moaning? <laughs> How many Planet the original Planet of the Apes had what five films? Dunno. Uh, and wasn't. then we had now when then we had the Mark Warburg, right? And then we had the now we had three Planet of the Apes, right? Is it three? Planet of the Apes? Yeah, so the, like that that trilogy is a standalone trilogy, would have just been fine. It would be right. No, that makes sense. Chucky, we have... Scott, help me out here. Chucky... Uh... Well, the most is... They've had like six, six of the Chucky films and seven of the um, Little Git um, Leprechaun movies. Well, I guess, I guess Puppet Master is more than Friday the 13th, then. Puppet, this would be... Oh, no, wait a minute. We didn't even count... Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys, either. Mm, Wait, we had Puppet Master 1, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3 was the... Puppet Master 4, Puppet Master 5, Puppet Master 6. I have to, I have to re-add it, because I think we're at 13 now, I think. I have to, I have the whole box set uh, up somewhere. Uh, okay, I'm looking at Wikipedia now. We've got... Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys was with Corey Feldman. Okay, we've got... But they, that, that counts, so... I, anyways, you know what? I'm going to use Puppet Master movie. We were talking about this the other day. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Um, and it's I guess it's 13. Yeah. I'm, I'm either, yeah they're it's, saying it's 13. 13. It's yeah. 13, yeah. yeah 13. Even though it's rebooted, it's 13, so... I mean, having nine Star Wars films, and look at how many people are getting sick of that. Franchise now. Wow, well, yeah, not the last Jedi really. Yeah, and the last Jedi kind of exposed a little bit of like fatigue in the in the whole idea of Star Wars. So just I just don't see why you just can't like limit it to like three. The last gra- Jedi was an absolute insult to Mark Hamill, the fans, whether you like, you know, whether you've been with Star Wars since, you know, the uh, original trilogy or the prequels and it just exposed how absolutely useless all this PC bullshit I is. Won't buy, I won't put that on my house. I'm going to have an incomplete set. But... Lucas, Lucas did actually plan the original Star Wars roughly to be nine movies originally, potentially. Basically. Yeah. And he has to throw Jar Jar Binks in the mix. Yeah, but then, but then what, what, do you, what do you compensate with this movie? 
Mark Hamill drinking the the alien's breast milk. I mean, whatever. Was that mm-hmm. McDonald's? Was that was that a spacefaring McDonald's? Maybe. It could be. Um, but Jesus. Well, Hamill said himself, you know, Luke Skywalker was an optimist. He wouldn't have given up so easily. He wouldn't leave his sister and yeah. his, his, his brother-in-law and the whole galaxy in trouble because he basically pissed off somebody to become a massive fucking evil bastard. No. Yeah, that, that was PC. That was SJWs doing that. See, so he, he would, he would uh, find he he would would him out. Even, even fictional characters have to be wimps now. They give up yeah. so fucking easily. How is that supposed to inspire little kids? I, I, when well, you okay, have... kids, if life gets too busy and difficult for you, bitch and moan and give up. When yeah. you have the Millennium Falcon becoming the fucking Ark in space, not talking about Doctor Who, by the way, but yeah. like, it, it, like, just like Noah's Ark type of thing. Yeah. Fire the willing and you have the fucking Horns mating... Uh, the porgs wow. are mating in the corners of the Millennium Falcon, and everybody's living in the damn ship like a damn trailer. I agree that's with you, Joe. Total depression. In that, in that story, you don't you don't see in this arc, the Millennium Falcon arc, you don't see anybody with uh, bubble wrap painted green around their arm. So I think you're right there. No, but I mean, it's just it just it's, I understand you wanted a sad ending or whatever, but Jesus Christ. You don't turn Luke into like a fucking. He's fighting him as a hologram. That was stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. So, he's, he's, so now all of a sudden, Jedi's have the ability to astral project themselves, and yet he still can get injured. It's almost like I he's, don't understand. It. He's, it's taking, so... he's taking lessons from fucking Freddy Krueger. But they have such advanced technology, right? Even though it's in the past. They can't, like, send a convoy to get him or some shit, and now they got his location. Everybody knows where he is. You can't... How can he be stuck on a fucking planet with the technology? they, they got to be, like, freaking Wi-Fi and all kinds of that's shit out big, there. And whatever. That's a bunch of bullshit as well. It is bullshit. It, it is, it is a, here's a big logic flaw between the two films, Awaken and Last Jedi. Right, so they, he hides his location on a star map inside R2-D2, uh-huh. and then in the next film, he doesn't want anybody to fucking That doesn't him. make any fucking sense. The, the other problem I have with that, if you look at the way the star map is made out, he's pretty much going in a, a certain route. So, like, nobody's going to look at this map and go, oh, let's see, let's go that route automatically. He must have went south must have went north. Yeah. When they finally pieced it together, it's like this this little jury rig thing. Uh, you want to know the biggest the biggest way to prove that this was bullshit? You're telling me that he's trapped on a planet and he can't get off, right? Nobody can find him, and then now that they know where he is, they can't get him, right? But yet you could fucking find a lightsaber uh-huh. that got chopped off his fucking hands, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you find an object, but you can't find Luke Skywalker? Why couldn't Ray go down to the planet? Or, um, uh, yeah, Ray must have got down to the fucking planet on a spaceship herself. Wasn't I still don't just, know how the what? fuck they got Kylo Ren off that fucking planet before it blew up. I mean, what did the guy do? Just throw him over his shoulder and fucking took off in a ship? I mean, the place was about to fucking blow up. Oh, well, oh, that's simple. There's an exclamation for that. They waited three films and then got big talking flying birds to help them to get all the way to Mount Doom. Um, I mean, a minute. Hang on a second. This is the wrong franchise. Where am I? What are you talking about? Heavy metal? Was he talking about heavy metal? No, he was talking about the Lord of the Rings. Oh. Thing. I'm thinking heavy metal when she was flying the bird. Remember that? that oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. That's a good film. Yeah. yeah. Um, First one was, second one sucked. What does anybody think of the new Twilight Zone? Is Jordan Peele doing that? Yes. See, that guy is going to get on everyone's tits very soon because he's going to overkill us with his shit. Really? Yeah. Well, why does every film have to be by Jordan Peele all of a sudden? Because he's the hot thing there right now. I mean, but get I out, us. Know. Who's Jordan Peele? You may get out the, yeah. the yeah. and us. I don't find him appealing. I don't find him appealing. <laughs> I just I don't I don't get why Get Out was such a success. 
I loved it. I want basically it was, the modern day take of uh, Stepford Wives. I thought it was interesting. I really thought I loved it. Actually, I just loved it. Was I was I was just bored by it. I just I, really? I get the message that you're trying to get across, and you know that's amicable. Like, but I just I was bored by it. I just don't see. I don't see why it had to be an Oscar nominee. Either. Really? I don't. I don't. It was see, his first movie, and he was the first. Black director writer that that made that much money off of a right Scott he broke records and everything it was like his first I mean, movie his first go yeah he sh- made sure. tons of money D- doesn't doesn't assure the quality of the film though I mean you know utter shit has made millions of pounds before I just I just don't see the whole deal about Get Out I it's just not a film that I that's fair. I, I, you know, and and he now been attached to almost every project in Hollywood. Right, he's well, an executive producer, producer, writer. Well, look at why. What's the guy that did Thor Ragnarok? Why, um, um, Taika Waititi. He did that. Everybody fucking thinks he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So now he's going to get everything, right? But yeah, he hasn't really been getting everything, has he? He's well, he's doing he's doing a a film where he plays Hitler, and then that's about it. Well, supposedly there's a rumor he may get a Star Wars film. Uh, because they responded to him that they would love to have him do a Star Wars film. Hmm. So. But he's rumored to take over Guardians also. I just yeah. had a thought. What if um, established director or this pill bloke who I've never heard of, I've heard of the movie, it's where this black guy sort of gets introduced to a family or something and yeah, they it. turn out to be creepy. But anyway, what if one of these directors were reading the script and noticed certain, you know, diversely, politically correct thing and said, no, I, I don't want this in this movie. I want to change this. I want this to be a character-driven thing, not a PC-driven I wonder how quick they would be kicked off the project. Well, you heard the story about what he was supposed to do, right? He was supposed to be in the Emoji movie, Ooh. and they want him to play poop, and oh, he was insulted shit. because oh, he was shit, he was insulted because he's African American. You want him to be poop, which not for nothing. It's supposed to be a joke that Patrick Stewart was poop, right? Yeah. So that's what made him decide he wanted to quit acting because they want him to play poop. Who's poop? Who's Jordan this? Peele. But no, the poop the emoji. No, what? What is a poop? Uh, a shit? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there wasn't to be the he, shit emoji. Oh, he, a black bloke didn't want they to play. They created a the Sony made it possible for him to be the hottest <laughs> director known because he could have been because they want the hottest poop. They created this timeline. All right, but anyway, so yeah, he's the hottest thing now. Even um. So now what else we have to talk about? So uh, what's the name of my takeover Guardians, right? The guy that mm. Ta- Taika Wiki, I can't even say it, Scott. Help me. Taika Waititi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I know why. <laughs> Thank you. He might take over Guardians. Steven Spielberg's doing a DC movie. Wow. DC superhero movie. He's also doing a sequel to Ready Player One, which I don't know if you saw. Is he really? He is, yeah. He's in development. Oh. I've okay. heard that the film he's going to do for Star Wars is Sidious's List. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you are so wrong. <laughs> you, I got to tell you, you are so wrong. Yeah. Right, okay. I thought it was Friday. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a sort of Fry Troll Rock. Rock Jedi Rock. Purge <laughs> is very similar to the Jewish Purge, isn't it? You know, it's like a final solution. Um, and well, when it comes to final solutions, Stuart, you know, US Steven Spielberg knows plenty about them. Uh, Indiana Jones, he's going to be 80? 81? How is he going to be, Scott, when uh, he does the new Indiana Jones? Uh, uh, probably 82. Yeah, 81. 82. 81? Yeah. Uh, is yeah, he gonna be- Harrison Ford is invincible. The guy, the guy will not die. Yeah, no. Hang on a second. I just remembered something. He oh, crashed planes it, too. Isn't it a fact? Oh, yeah, he crashes planes. But he directed traffic in New York. Like, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he got tired. That the guy, he got out. He was like, "You go." 
<laughs> it was great. Oh my god. Isn't Harrison Ford's character in Anna Jones, it clearly states in The Last Crusade that he drinks this potion that's supposed to make him... Virtually... Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, only in the temple, though. And when he gets um, out, he's not... He doesn't... Uh, yeah, 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 I know. Oh, dear. The technicality with that one, yeah. But it wasn't The Last Crusade. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we got Expendables... You're doing Expendables 4, I think, right? Is Harrison, Harrison Ford is going to be in that as well, isn't he? I'm um, not sure. He probably will be. He was in the last one, wasn't he? Or the one before? Mm -hmm. Three, I think. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I want to, I mean, and then we got Creed 2 with Sylvester Stallone as Rocky the manager. And then he's doing the new Rambo. Yeah, you heard that, Jack? He's doing a new Rambo movie. Um, oh, wow. You see, now that's a director that I like more. Who did, uh, is it Ryan Coogler who did Black Panther? Yes. Now, he's like a Jordan Peele. He's uh, doing a second one, I think, too, right? Yeah, to Black Panther? I think so. Yeah, he did, he did a film, his very first film, Fruitvale Station, was amazing. Really? Like, was like, yeah, it, it was about it was a, based on a true story. It was about a black kid that got shot in America uh, and was killed by police. I think it was like the first reported, like the first time that happened, and obviously recent events where that's been happening more often. Um, it kind of like sent out a political message, but you know, I, I find him more an intriguing director than. Um, uh, Jordan Peele, and he also did the first Creed as well, I think. So, yeah, but I don't What's, think why, why though? Do you is it the way the difference between the two directors have a director, how they sort of uh, present their you know world that they direct? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's, I just think that Get Out was just such a it, it, it's obvious why it's liked, you know, it's because of the message that it has. Uh, not necessarily because it's a quality film. They they just like it because it's like PC. It's yeah. kind of a PC centric film. Um, like no no doubt that he's perfectly entitled to um, make the movie he wants to make. But I just I just didn't see the. I I don't think in any sense it was as good as people are making it out to be. I certainly don't think it was worthy of being an Oscar nominee, which it was. What's the message you get out of it? Anti white or it's kind of it I, I, it's kind of like you can't enslave us. So right. which is abolished. We're not enslaving them, that's bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The fucking thirties. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you said a boxy. Do no. I have a eh, eh, slave wiping my fucking feet <laughs> every morning or something that I haven't noticed yet? It I is have, a bit outdated. I, I have mice on my keyboard answering people for me, but I don't have black people answering for me. It's a bit, it's a bit outdated because slavery has been abolished for, what, nearly 200 years? In Nobody's the 21st alive for that century, it's white people who are more likely to be enslaved or in the sex trade. Uh, it's like this claim that... Uh, black people are being paid less than white people. In the US, that's bullshit. In the US, the biggest earners are Asian people. Well, now they, they earn more than white, black combined. Well, now, now do you think, yeah, right. I'm gonna stop that, this, this whole thread of uh, <laughs> subjects. Um, what else do we have to say? Oh, let's see what the box office quickly is. Ah, interesting. Number one movie. He's not loading. Okay. What is the number one movie in the United Crazy, States? Crazy Rich Asians is what? the number one movie. Crazy what? Rich Asians? Why Crazy? is that film getting so much fucking... Which film? Cra Crazy Rich Asians. I don't get it. I've seen that film a lot as well. We, uh, like, Crazy just... Rich Asians, I guess, they feel is original. I mean, Whatever it is. They're Number Asians one. who are rich and crazy, and they go on a, a, a journey of self discovery as Asian people, and they all hug at the end, and then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If it was made in UK, they'd probably use the pit the packy word. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, number two, number two is the Meg, which is like Joy's five or six. Thing, I've actually heard good things about that. Yeah, me too. Which is strange because it looks like shit. Right, but he's yeah. got J- Jason Statham in it, though. It it looks like. Fucking shit! Now. <laughs> no, well, I know. Yeah, they said <laughs> it's one step up from Sharknado. It's supposed to be taken serious. It even makes fun of itself here and there too. So it, it's better. It's better than Sharknado, I guess. But yeah. which is which is not better than Jaws. Though. His final film, and I have to say, no right. matter what, Tara Reid is hot. It can't <laughs> be better than Jaws for you, though. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, um, <laughs> number three. The fallout, the <laughs> Does he have a banana stand or something? Jesus Christ. 460 million for Tom Cruise. No. Doing well than his mummy movie ever did, probably. But he anyway. Never, he never ever has anything to say in the media, ever. He always keeps very quiet, doesn't he? Well, the last time he wasn't quiet, he was jumping on top of Oprah's chair. I actually got told by a reliable source that if you say to him at a premiere event, Scientology doesn't exist, Yeah, he personally makes sure that you get kicked out. Really? <laughs> because he's a massive Scientologist, isn't I know. he? Yeah. So John Travolta. Or whatever how you, yeah. how you pronounce his name. They tried to make that movie, that Scientology movie, the box. They were gonna make like a trilogy right out of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Battlefield Earth or whatever it's called. Whatever yeah. shit was, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I, I, oh, Scientology is really Exanu. Exanu. It, it's all it's all based on the belief that yeah. aliens having a war or some sort of thing invaded us or blah, blah, invaded in some far distant galaxy. Just imagine Star Wars if it was actually belie- actually happened and it was actually believed by a future generation of humans. You know, just imagine oh, right. in a thousand years or everything we have now is considered just like the Romans you know, yeah. artifacts you know, and they actually believe that there used to be a bunch of Beings called Jedi's and Sith, and um, it was that actual thing. That's what Scientology is in a nutshell: science fiction becoming science uh, fact yeah. history. Before I knew L. Ron Hubbard was connected to that, I had bought one of his books. I got it in my trunk over here, and then I think about a few days after I, but no, no, about a few years later, I found out about that. I thought, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Yeah. So, what else do we have to say? Oh, yeah. So, um, any thoughts on Star Wars or no? I like that they're bringing Lando back. And I like, yeah. I like... Um, 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 so, Kerry Russell, is she playing Ray's mom? I'm not sure. That's That's the right. I'm going to introduce... Uh... I'm really not sure who she's going to play. I just hope they do it good, though. I mean, we heard that George Lucas is going to be a part of it. So. God. That might be a good thing, I'm though, you know? Jar Jar Banks. He's not going to do Listen, he makes one bad freaking mistake, okay? Uh, hey, Jay. Uh, awesome. You all right, Jay? What's going on, Jay? Hello. How are hey. you, sir? I uh, saw you up. So I decided to send you a link. So uh, I'm suffering with the tooth right now. That's oh, you ain't going to have no going. McDonald's anytime soon. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh-uh. Stay away no. from the steaks and the fries. Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, you don't look happy at all, man. Oh, you look like- no. Jesus. You angry? No. Mm-mm. He said his tooth is uh, bad. My tooth is killing me. Oh, I'm sorry, man. No matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you Watch doing? Up too. No, nah, we're just we were shooting the breeze about uh, movies and all that crazy trolling that happened before. And yeah, we're just trying to we're trying to decide what the best recipe for fries are. Yeah. 
Frog Eyes. Um, what oh, what movies have you seen boy. lately, Jay? What news? What movies have you seen? Uh, none right now. Okay. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna rent Puppet Master tomorrow, and I think I'm also gonna rent uh, Ready Player One. So I want to see that on demand. We have it on demand. So. Have you not seen that yet? No. Wow, you're missing. I, I, I know I'm missing out big time on a lot of shit. I didn't expect to like it, but I did. It was very good. It was it like Spielberg recently has been incredibly good. Yeah. Like the, the past with Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, and then Ready Player. I want to see that. That's it, that, is, that is even more. That is even more amazing than Ready Player One. Wow. Great film. Yeah. God. Yeah, Spielberg's been really great recently. That's a Spielberg film. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's close. I want to see, see Godzilla make Godzilla in there, because I know he's a Godzilla fan. I didn't know Steven Spielberg was a Godzilla fan. He redesigned yeah. Mecha Godzilla, so I want to see him in that. As well as the DeLorean from Back to the Future and all these different yeah. things. So. Mm. Oh, you know what I forgot to sweet talk about? Um, they're making, they're finally doing, they got the permission to do the last Starfighter reboot. Oh, nice. So I know Seth Rogen was trying to get it, and then he made fun of it doing his own series, like on, yeah, yeah. But they're actually doing a reboot or sequel, or whatever. Last Last That's Starfighter. That's awesome. That is awesome. I still, and, I still think they need to do a reboot, a reboot of Looker, because with today's society, with how mm. social media and uh, YouTube is right now, and yeah. YouTube, yeah. That would go over phenomenally today with that uh, with the series. and Mel Brooks is really trying to get the new space balls off the oh, ground, but I, I Rick it. Moranis yeah. doesn't want to. I mean, I don't I don't know why he he is gonna. I don't know why he doesn't want to do movies really. Rick Moranis. They tried to get him in Ghostbusters Academy, and he didn't want to do it, so. And the girl Ghostbusters movie anyway, but a rumor is he is. Uh... He has become a Christian, and he doesn't want to do things that are against his religion. Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't know that. Okay. So long as he doesn't become as batshit crazy as uh, Cameron, that's all that matters. Oh, James, uh, not James, the um, Kirk Cameron, yeah. Kirk Cameron, yeah. Yeah, I heard Have about that. Have you seen his uh, his uh, uh, movie Monumental? It really will open your eyes about America. Really? Mm. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing that's... Uh, and Where did you go? I, I had to research this to oh, see yeah. if it was true. Right. But did you know that when this country was uh, found, uh, founded, when it uh, seceded from England and became its own country, uh, the c- Congress... Uh, paid for Bibles to be printed to be put in churches. Mm. Yes, it's true. We just thought David Aston, uh, his computer got messy or something. So he got, uh, I think his thing died or something, wasn't plugged in. Okay. So just so long as. Uh... Ronald McDonald didn't come over and destroy it with a, with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Uh, what is Marvel doing now? Marvel's bringing back Marvel Knights. Wonderful. Oh. That's mm. interesting. I thought they, they were talking about Moon Knight. I thought had plans on introducing Daredevil or one of the uh, – or Punisher or something like that. Because sort of I won't rest something about that. I must have been – I just remember seeing something with Moon Knight was going to be in this. Uh, Moon Knight is probably, I thought Moon Knight was supposed to get a series on Netflix, but I guess they're not going to do that, right? That might have been it. Mm-hmm. I just one I heard, yeah, it was either that or he was going to be introduced in Daredevil or uh, one of the others. When yeah. is Daredevil ever coming back on? They're, gonna, they're doing this, the se- new season they're doing. They're doing another season. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. Third season. It's been like, it's been like forever since they've had a new season. Feels, I know, I know. 
It's happening. Because they, they okay. did the uh, is, Defenders, that's why. Yeah. The Queen that's move. Cool. The Queen uh, Elizabeth uh, series is getting a whole new cast because the new season is going to be where she's older. Well, Connor can tell you about that, right, Connor? What's that? The Queen, right? Not Queen. Well, no, what are you talking about? The Crown? What are you talking about? Yeah, The Crown or something. It's a Netflix show. How is that show, Connor? I, I, I love seen, it. I've only seen half of the first series. It was all right, actually. It's not bad. Oh, th- you know, that reminds me. I saw Matt Smith's movie, Patient Zero, popped up on my on demand. The zombie movie's there. So you know what? Change of plans. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order that. Okay. Um, probably. I'm, I have to see Puppet Master first, but yeah. I'm going to see that after this weekend. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna review Matt Smith's zombie movie. I've been dying to see that for years, right, Connor? It was like in it limbo looks, for. Years. It looks like shit. I know, but I make it a business to try to see all Matt Smith's stuff. You know, I mean. I mean, I might watch it if I get bored, but I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just. Six, not it's six bucks. I mean, yeah. It's like if you now it's like you pay.